it's Don the Auction Professor here. I just wanted to give you a little update. Um, I had some silver in one of the other videos that uh, for haul. Um, I got it at a thrift store. I think I paid 99 cents for one of these for this bigger one and then the other one which is all smashed up now I paid I think $1.99. Um, I actually got uh, five ounces of silver. Um, literally you can just pry off the bottom piece, the cover on it, um, crunch it on up um, and then hammer out the wax or plaster. I originally thought it was going to be like three ounces. Uh, there was actually five. Um, it was actually wax inside. Usually I see plaster. It weighs more so I just assumed. But um, I'll show you it on a scale. It's literally five ounces. Um, silver's just over $16. Last I looked, $16 and like um, 36 cents. So it's over $80 worth. And I think I only spent like 80 on everything. So just that three bucks out of what I got pretty much pays for the entire lot. Um, I actually got some more items silver wise so I figured why don't I just throw them out here. Um, I got this actually at a flea market. Uh, they run this thing once in a while um, every other weekend or so. Um, I've only been there once or twice and never found much so I don't go back very often. But I went back today and I found this. Um, I first thought it was just uh, plated. I uh, couldn't believe he'd have it set out there with sterling. Um, took me a minute but I did find a mark on it. Uh, I don't know if I can find it again to describe it. Here it is. It's actually marked 830 and then with a period and then an S. I'll try and show you a close-up of it. That's actually solid silver. It's just not 925 sterling. This is a uh, Norwegian piece, another mid-century um, J. Tostrup. Um, I've had pieces by, um, if not him, someone sounding almost identical. Um, solid silver. Uh, I don't remember what it weighs. Uh, let's see here. It's going to be less than the $16 value, of course, because it's not quite sterling. It's 8 ounces, so um, even at, say, $12, you know, it's like 100 bucks easy. Um, I paid $2 for it. I'm sure they thought it was just plated. Um, it's not. It's solid. Um, look out for that. Don't just look for um, 925 or sterling silver. European ones say other, item, or other numbers on them. I've seen them with 600. Um, I've had an 800, which is, well, I've had many 800s. They're uh, British sterling is 800. Um, I even got these at the same place. This was a quarter. It took me a minute, too, but it is marked sterling. I didn't weigh it. I mean, it's worth a few bucks either way. Probably it's an olive pickup thing. And these I got at another place. It was actually a little garage sale just down the street. Uh, it was with a bunch of actually just junk jewelry. I paid a quarter a piece for these as well. She had 50 cents after, 50 cents for the pair. Off I went. Both solid sterling, fairly heavy. Between these, I'd say it's another ounce. Um, and plate, of course, was the best. And these were at that same little flea market. I didn't think much. I figured they'd probably been searched and searched and searched. They were 12 bucks a bag. Um, we've actually took out half a bag, and my wife put pairs together. Um, we'll sell them in big lots, so I'll get my money back out of the pairs. But out of it, I actually got... This one's all 10 or 14 carats, so I'm not sure how much weight it was. I'm going to turn it on, and we're going to weigh it. I'll show you some close-ups so you can see the scale for yourself, see what's in here. Um, again, it's not... The highest grade is, um, actually I think maybe there was an 18 karat piece in here. Yeah, there's one little piece that's 18 karat. I think it was this vintage looking ring. Well, I can barely get it up. Um, and the rest are like backs and little tiny pieces. Um, oops. It's three quarters of an ounce um, in 10 karat, 14 karat, and one piece of 18 karat. I don't know what the value is on gold right now. I usually get a bunch of this and I'll throw it in one of these little tubes here. Um, and then we'll uh, take it in. I looked at all this with a loop. Um, there's a good clear mark on it, um, on everything in here. Or um, Yeah, actually everything was marked this time. Uh, sometimes I get some items I have to have tested. Um, the shop I go to, it's like the biggest one in the city. Everybody usually sells their stuff to this guy, even the other shops that buy it. Um, and he usually has um, the best stuff and best prices. So um, anyway... That's a pretty good deal for this 24 again. I already got the other out of it uh, with the pairs that we got. And then this right here is actually all uh, 1 tenth, 1 twelfth, 10, 12, and I think one of them was 14 karat gold filled. Um, there's like almost an ounce and a half here, so even that's like 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, you can sell gold filled on eBay. Um, I do it quite often. Maybe once every two or three months I'll sell a nice big lot. I got 
just this from here, so um, that's what it is, um, and that's the haul I got. Again, um, this was probably a, one of my best price deals in a while. I didn't pay that much for it, um, so it was good. Good plate, $2, um, quarter items, and then the bags. Here's the scale, so you can kind of see what I got. This is the silver junk that I showed you just uh, the other day. Um, there is the weight. You can see it's actually just over 5 ounces. Again, I got this for, I think, $3 total. Um, here's the plate. Let's see if I can find where that mark was again. I don't know how well you can see it on there. I don't know if you can see it right there where my finger is, but get a look careful. But 830 is what it was marked. Uh, and again, this one weighs 8 ounces, 8 and a eighth ounce. That's a pretty good chunk of silver. Here's the gold chunks that I got out of those two big bags. You can kind of see it's three quarters of an ounce. So out of the 24, again, I'm going to sell the loose jewelry. Um, or the uh, the pairs that the wife put together out of that and we'll probably get at least 24 out of those I think we got like 60 pairs um, There was a couple pins and some brooches and things like that that we're going to sell to there too But these were all there. I always see the backs um, Anytime I see big bags of jewelry uh, with earrings. I always find gold backs on them Everybody thinks so oh, no big deal. They're only tiny backs But uh, sometimes I'll get 60 70 of those and that all adds up. That's a ton of money there Here's some of the uh, the gold filled that I got out of there, you can see there's quite a bit there. I don't remember what it weighed, but let's just throw it on there and see. Um, that's another almost an ounce, um, so that's probably like 30 bucks or so maybe in gold filled, depending on what gold's going for now. Um, some of this might even sell because it's still usable. Um, let's see what else we got here. And then I got the other pieces of silver. These pieces here, again, they were a quarter a piece. Let's see how much we got there. Um, almost two ounces, so that's another, say, 30 bucks there out of just these. That's 75 cents, so uh, well worth it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, watch, and like my videos. If you have any questions, you can leave them right below. Feel free to ask.